beef until like the end of the series or one dies or whatever. But it's one of those things that they always do. And every time I've seen them actually get along and everything works out, it gets a little on the boring side. Like when Jim and Pamela finally like, get, if you watch The Office? Oh, oh Jen, or Jim and Pam? They were vanilla as fucking. But hear me out though. A lot of the fun was him trying to get with her and stuff. If you haven't watched Office, skip this point of the discussion. Because we're ending on The Office. A lot of the fun was him trying to get with Pam, you know? Can I be honest with you? Jim and Pam are the worst characters in The Office. She, she was in a I'm whole ass you. engagement with another nigga, and this nigga was openly shooting shots at her. And worse, she was responding to the shots. I get it, she wasn't happy oh, with that Oh, you mean the nigga. worst characters as in people. People, yes. What do you mean? Oh, you thought I meant like worst characters? No, no, They're no. They're like terrible written characters. No, 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 They're no. Scum, is what They're you're scum, bro. They're scum. She was in a whole ass engagement for three years with a nigga, never set a date, in the office works with this nigga, flirting with another nigga, right? Late, yo, she was going back and forth. You know which episode really solidified that Pam wasn't shit for me? It was, and you know what? It's not even Jim. Pam's the one who's not shit because she knows she didn't want the nigga in the warehouse. She knew she wanted Jim, but she was too pussy to do what she was supposed to do. It's the basketball episode where this nigga Jim is giving her man work. And she, she's, she was and she, happy for Jim. Bro, she was happy for Jim. I will never let that shit live down. I don't, I don't care how much you don't love me. If another nigga's giving me work and you're cheering for him, we're done. We're done. I'd rather hear that you let this nigga take you out to dinner and came straight home. But this nigga's working me in front of you and you cheering for that nigga? Nah, fam. That's when I knew she wasn't shit. And I saw a few more episodes. I'm like, yeah, this was, y'all, y'all ain't shit, bro. I never thought about it from that perspective. Pam ain't shit, bro. You know why I never thought about it from that perspective? Why? Because Jim was likable. Yeah. And you're just rooting for Jim. It's not Jim's And the fault. other guy was depicted as a dick. He was depicted as a dick. He was a little bit of dick, but like, no, the way she You don't do that. Thing, That's not how you, you do, do it. That, bro. You should have been flirting and stuff I, like I that. I say Jim ain't shit because, you know, it's not Jim's fault. Yeah, he's he's, pretty, he's yeah, a he's single a, guy. His job is him. a... He's His haunted. job is to ruin that relationship. But Pam is the one who should have closed that door. But she sat in that goddamn office every motherfucking day, giggling and laughing at his goddamn nah, shenanigans, bro. I never bro. thought about it that way. But She's I am gonna, horrible. I am going to go and on record and say, if you get a girl like the way you get Pam, or if you get a guy like the way that you got Pam, that is not a, that's not a loyal person. I Holy learned, shit. I learned the hard way, too. I know you did, bro. I know you were speaking that with that. Mm. Actually, I didn't even think about it till like just now when you were saying that. I was like, oh shit, like yeah. It, bro, I ain't gonna lie. So you started speaking and you and you got there within like 30 seconds and I was like, of course it's the oh, this way. No, I always, But he's right. I'm right. But like I always thought she was the worst, cause then like uh she there's a whole number of shit she does to Jim later on, like if you haven't seen the series. There's a whole lot of decisions she makes. It's like, bitch, you ain't have to do all that. It's like, yo, he was he was gonna he was gonna leave full time for you. And you're just like, nope. You could've went to Philly or New York and you chose New York knowing he wanted to go to Philly to an art school? Come on, Pam! She ain't shit, bro. She ain't shit. That's why niggas be like, oh, Office is the best show ever. I'm like, it's an all right show. But somebody- it's, No, you can still say those are scummy moves, but it was a good show because of the dynamics and the comedy. I ain't gonna lie to you, like I still think that it was, it was mid, bro. I still think it we was mid. Agree on was that. it good? Sure, but it wasn't like, I'm not putting it like on no pedestal. Like the way people talk about friends, they try to talk about the office the same way, and I'm like, nah, bro, both of them, mid. Friends was mid. Yeah, Office I said over it. friends. Office over friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Office over friends. Do you know why? Why? Because friends ain't have no black people, bro. Friends in 10 seasons, I think, had two black people. <laughs> That's damn true. You saw it? Yes, they did. Cypher had niggas, bro. They His, did. Kramer's lawyer was a nigga. That nigga oh, yeah, they, 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 they gave him an attorney. The role of a, yo, they did. A scummy attorney, but he was an attorney, bro. That's, that's, they had niggas, they had niggas. How do you find a scummy attorney? Bro. Stop, bro. Come Just on, call law office. Bro, come on, bro. <laughs> You ever, hey, you was just, hey, nah, man. Oh, that's funny. Oh, anyways, back to the rich. Yo, that that whole, like, I know a bunch of shit happened in the episode. Speak. I like what we said, though. Oh, I loved it. That was beautiful. I. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please go ahead and do so. The link is in the description of this video, and I actually tweet back. Much love, Rock D. Lee.